In this video, I'm gonna share the top 13 window shortcuts that will make you work faster and easier. Stick around till the end for all the best tips. So let's get started. All right, shortcut number 13. If I press the Windows key plus T, then you can see a selection on the taskbar here. Now I can use the arrow keys to move left and right, then press the enter key to open that particular application. And there it is. Now if you want to access the right side of the taskbar, then you can press the Windows key plus B and use the arrow keys to navigate through different items. Next shortcut key is to open the file explorer. If I press the windows key plus E, then it's gonna open the file explorer. Now if I go to some folder, select a file, then I can press our next shortcut alt plus enter keys to open its properties. We can try it on this file, and this one as well. Moving on to our next shortcut. If I press the delete button, then it's gonna move the item into the recycle bin. But if you want to delete something permanently, then hold the shift key and press the delete button. Click on yes and it's deleted permanently. Next shortcut key is very helpful. As you can see, I have all these different types of windows open. I can press the windows key plus D and it's gonna go to the desktop no matter how many windows were opened. I can press the windows key plus D again and come back to the same window. Moving on to our next shortcut. If I press the windows key plus arrow down, then it'll make it smaller. And if I press the windows key plus arrow up, then it'll maximize it. Do you ever feel the need of an extra screen while working? If yes, then the next shortcut is for you. You can press the windows key plus the arrow left or right, and it'll split the screen in half. On the other half, you can select any other application you want. I'll press windows key plus right arrow to shift it to the right. Then I want this application to be on the left side. That's it. Now I can easily copy data from here and paste it here. You can use this split screen as you want, the possibilities are endless. Next shortcut is one of my favorites. Whenever I'm typing, I often feel the need to add emojis. So what I can simply do is press the windows key plus period key and it'll open this built-in windows emoji box. It has different categories that you can check and you can use it any way you can type. I'll press windows key plus arrow up to maximize it. I copy this text, so if I press the Ctrl plus V, then it's gonna paste it here, and I can do it as many times as I want. But what if you want to have more than one thing copied at the same time? The magic shortcut for that is Windows key plus V, and it's gonna open this clipboard, turn this on, and you can see my previous item that I copied. Now I can simply go to any page, select this text, press Ctrl plus C to copy it. I'm gonna copy this as well. I'm also gonna copy this image. Scroll down. I'll copy this and this image as well. Now if we come back here and use our shortcut windows key plus V to open the clipboard, then you can see my copied content in here. I can simply choose one and it'll paste it here. I can also paste this image. And there it is. Now if you want something from here to be available, even if you restart your computer, then you can click on these three dots and select pin. Now if you are working on too many things at the same time and things start becoming overwhelming a little bit, then you can create a new desktop by pressing the Ctrl plus Windows key plus D. And you can see a whole new fresh desktop. You can open the file explorer or anything else you want to work on separately. If you want to manage all your desktops and applications, then you can press the Windows key plus tab and it will open up an interface like this. Here you can switch to different desktops and open any application you want. I'm gonna quit the second desktop. You can also use the shortcut on one desktop to switch to different applications. Moving on to our last shortcut. If you are working in an office or even home, then it's very important to protect your personal computer and activity. So you can simply press the windows key plus L and it'll lock your computer instantly. Then you can leave your computer because it requires the password now to log in. So that was our final shortcut key. Please let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. If this video was helpful, then make sure to give it a like and subscribe. Your support helps me create more helpful videos for you. And if you want to see the best shortcut keys for Google Chrome to speed up your workflow, then you can click the video on the screen right now. I'll see you there. Take care.